You see that truck? It's everything you could ask for. All the whiskey you could even want. I don't know. So many people down there. When has that ever stopped us before? It hasn't. It won't. Trust me. We've been watching them for weeks now. I've got their names right here. Well, I'm guessing I'm taking this group over here and you are taking this group over there. I tell you, it sure was a biz nugget getting these swords back from the museum. Shouldn't we take care of Enzo? It's good news about that, by the way. The swords we used to kill those cultists, but they got trapped in the blades. No way! Yeah. And remember Captain 8-Ball, Wilson Rowe? I think I switched the two. They were also killed by the swords and trapped in them. What happened to the cultists? Well, that's the thing. Anyone who was resummoned by the sword ends up having to be commanded by the releaser. So the trapped cultists work for you now? Yeah. Anyways, I sent Wilson Rowe and Cap Mayball to go help Riley, the cheese guy. And you're probably wondering about Roman Ardill man. Yeah! Well, he's a good guy. So. Freedom. What about Enzo? I sent the cultists and anyone else trapped in those swords over the years to go stop Enzo. And others to get rid of these cultists that were tracking us. So now, we're in the clear to do a classic whiskey heist. Don't they just regroup again? Yeah. Probably. For the time being, it's a lot off my shoulders. So I guess the plan is I go and get Wheaton Howell's crew, which consists of Rich, Matthews, E-Man, Rusty, Cal, Roger, Jake, while you take on Chris and Curtis Chambers, brothers crew, which has Yellowitz, Rariel G. Bowen, Joshua, Ariel, Ariel, Sorce, Sereno, and Cleo. Precisely. Greg, you're cutting out a little bit, but after we're done with their goons, we save the best for last. We have to take on the three big boys that command them. Yeah, okay, right, yeah, the, yeah, good, yeah, the Mafia Kings, yeah, okay, I got it! Greg, I'm sorry I have to remind you about this, but I probably do have to. Yeah, just say it. I remember when I told you that we would have Mafia on our backs that those trackers would attract them to us. Yeah, I remember I denied and skipped over to the, and you know, there being cultists coming after us. How does it feel now? I already thought Dillman would attract bad company when I heard his entire backstory from the back seat. Then why deny my victory? Because I wouldn't want that many more people coming after us, this whole world coming after us. Do you have any idea what we have had to put up with since? Just a minute, Greg. I was right. All right. You were right. I'm sorry that I said no to that. It's not like I didn't believe you. Thank you. It's good to be appreciated. Anyways, we're taking them out before they can figure out where we are. Why is it taking them so long to track us? The swords were in the museum. That's why he gave them the fod hob, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, that way they, they would follow him instead. Oh shoot, they're here. <laughs> Wait, so you never really liked him? No. Not one bit. He was insufferable. But earlier you took the swords back from the museum. Yeah. Well, there are swords. Our heritage, this is why we're taking these guys out from the source, so they don't get our swords, and we get to have all of their whiskey. I'm where Wheat and Hell's guys are. I'm coming up on the Chambers Brothers Company. Follow the diagram. We take out the big boss's lap. 
Okay. So, I'm guessing you're the sword wielders that heard all about killing all those cultists. I'm Wheaton. Wheaton Owl? Yes, we are. I'm Chris Chambers, and you're friends of Dillman, I see. Not exactly friends. How'd you know? I am Curtis Chambers. He stole the precious sword from us. Hey, look, pal. I thought it was his. He wishes. We are the descendants. We, Chris and me, Curtis, are the descendants of the people who took down Wilson Rowe. Yeah, funny story. But we're the descendants of Wilson Rowe himself. Then we have something in common after all. Fate brought the Dill Man to you. It's me, Curtis. Fate has tried to correct the wrong done by your great, great, great grandfather. Okay, most people, they call me Scott. But Wilson Rowe was a great warrior. Uh... Scott? What, what about Enzo? Don't, don't worry about that now, Greg. They'll finish their work any time. Uh, but me, Scott, personally... Um... I want to save her something. Look, I'm Gurdis. So what are you waiting for? It's just too easy. Seen by. I'd love to recreate the battle with our ancestors. Uh, with, with the swords. But, um, there's as long as the land. Yeah, I prefer we use our knives. If you recall, it wasn't a fair fight millennia ago. No, Scott, we stick with the plan. What's the brush? Something more pressing. Something we have been holding off for a while. Hi everyone. It's me, Dillman. Do you remember when we, we used to be good friends? Because, well, we both had some things that we had in common. Like, didn't you, you like strawberry juice? I thought that was, yeah. So maybe I thought we could try to hang out or I'm just, so I kind of have this pickle right now. My friends, they really like bowling. Dill, man! I thought you could use some help because I remember the last time I was here and you, you, you listened to my stories and I just thought, I thought it was funny because, you know, 
I don't think you actually understood my stories. Ah. Can you hold this here for me? Yeah, sure. sure. Oh wait, what? No, what are you doing? That was quick. This will be a battle of the ages. Ooh, ooh, stop! Chris, Chris, dying's pretty easy. Uh, Chris, where are you? I know you're hiding. Hey, coward! Yeah. Oh! Right in my jaw, man. Oh! I'm Chris. Stop! No, you're Chris. You're Chris. Zip it, Dill, man. We're going to, we need to see the progress of the cultists. <laughs>